Hey guys, long time no see. I have um, been unable to make videos the past couple of weeks. This is really bright. Uh, but I am back for this week. It's going to be pretty short because I have to go soon. But um, basically, what's been occupying my time lately? Um, school. A lot of school. Uh, I, I don't remember the last time I had a day where I didn't do school at all. Um, it's been pretty packed um, for my school schedule. But yeah, and I have been doing basketball, and that's been going really well. Uh, I am going into the basketball season. Last week we had tryouts, and this week. I am starting practices, so it's really exciting and it's really great to actually, you know, get back into basketball and this is my first year back, technically, and um, it's been a long time. Uh, I've been saying over the past year I've been exercising and conditioning myself and practicing basketball, I had to reintroduce myself all over again to basketball. I mean, somewhat, it's like riding a bike, but I stopped playing basketball at the beginning of um, the summer of 2009, and I didn't play for four years. So I went from age 12 to age uh, 16 without playing basketball. That's a long time plus. That's that's the main period of growth. So I grew and like I grew like what five inches. I matured and my whole body was different. So I basically had to reteach myself um, the mechanics of basketball, shooting, defense, all of that. You know, some things are still in there, but it's applying them that was the hard part. So, and coming this far every year and being able to actually play, I, I played at AAU, but I was still pretty, um, I don't know how to describe it, pretty new, pretty, uh, I don't know, I was pretty, still pretty unconditioned, and um, like not, not unconditioned, but not the most conditioned I could have been to be coordinated and stuff. I was still looking back at videos I had from AAU, I was pretty uncoordinated and um, just passive with my movements, they, um, kind of unsure because I was always second guessing myself because I was thinking too much about what I should, where I should be, um, my body movements weren't natural uh, as they are now because I've had that year to regain uh, my confidence, my skills, my fundamentals, and, you know, my um, mechanics of um, my shot and everything. And I feel like it's all coming together pretty well. And, you know, I still have a long way to go. I mean, I missed four years. And when you think about it, all the things that you could have learned in four years, all the things that you, all, all the ways you could have developed um, as a basketball player during a four-year period that I missed growing up, it's a lot, but you know, I can't go back and this is where I'm starting and I have to be able to work, you know, even harder to get to where I want to be because um, basketball is a big part of my life and it's something I really want to do. So, um, and I've just not let anything get me down. I think that's a big part of me coming back as a basketball player was just not giving up on the idea of actually playing because there are a lot of times where I doubted myself but I quick, quickly picked myself back up and said you can do this you, you have this but um, you know seeing it finally all come together it's just really really great and it's just a really I don't know how to describe it it's just really awesome to be able to go from nothing to something and to be able to reinvent yourself in a way that no one else have, has been able to experience if they hadn't gone through any, um, 
you know, life changes or rough um, parts of their life where they have bumps in the road, where they have to overcome something. I think that overcoming something has really made me a better person and a better athlete. So, um, so but after that, I was going to talk about um, the workload. Basketball, I am basically practicing about an hour and a half to two hours daily, um, with the exception of a day. So it's pretty intense, um, but I've been working my way up. I haven't gone from zero to 60, which I want to express because I didn't go from, you know, um, exercising three days a week to this full load of, um, you know, exercising every single day. I had been exercising every day, single day for two to three hours, um, and I, up to the basketball season, I've been um, slowly going on to just basketball um, related exercise rather than my specific exercises like rowing and biking and running, um, the conditioning stuff that I used during the summer, so I'd be ready. Uh, but it's it's been, you know, it's different from a normal person's, you know, journey to get to play basketball because I've gone from being deconditioned to having to rebuild myself and I still am rebuilding myself. I don't think I ever, even a normal person, um, has reached the top of, you know, being the best you can be. So, um, sorry if I'm talking and it doesn't make sense today because I feel like I'm talking in circles and, yeah. Uh, anyway, along with that, uh, it's just managing, managing when I rest, managing um, I have to eat a really good amount before practice or else I get hungry, um, drink a really good amount before practice. It's just, it's just what normal people do times two. Uh, I just have to be really critical um, and do everything right. Uh, so. I stretch before I exercise and do practice, unlike other people, which they, sh you know, I mean, they recommend stretching, but it's even more vital to me because, you know, warming up my muscles property properly, um, because I do not have that, um, the adequate circulation from POTS is very crucial in my exercise. I mean, I find that I'm way less sore, like not even sore after I have a big workout because I stretched and warmed up before I did it. So that's a little tip for people who are exercising or coming into exercise um, as something they want to do to help um, with recovering um, from being deconditioned is, you know, really easing into exercise. Another thing that I've kind of had to deal with um, with having basketball practices and everything like that is spacing out my medication. Um, it's difficult when you have a medication like Mitodrine that you have to take every three, four hours. Sorry. Okay. Uh, because, you know, you, with that kind of drug, it wears out at the end of it. It doesn't stay strong through the whole thing, it slowly wears out and you can feel it, but um, just having it timed out so you don't wear out the medication during when you're exercising um, is where I try to space it out correctly during the day. Uh, that's one of the difficult things. While exercising, I don't really feel it too much when I have the medication wear off because I'm exercising and my blood circulating because I'm exercising. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit about that and basketball and everything like that. Um, Health-wise, I'm basically doing the same thing as I've talked about in past videos. Nothing's really changed. Uh, it's been getting colder, so I haven't been going on my morning walks. I've been going on my morning walks on the treadmill. Uh, 
because it's just too cold. Anyway, I am just going to comment on some of the videos that I recently watched. I just watched some of the recent ones. I hadn't had... I didn't have much time this week to watch many videos, so I'm sorry if I didn't get to yours, but I did want to include some of the videos that I watched. Um, Christine, it was really good to see you, and that was a great video um, about college, and Tara Lynn, I think you just made a great, great video this week, and I really enjoyed watching it. And I think it was very inspirational. And you had such a great positive attitude, which I loved. And um, welcome to the channel, along with everyone else who are, um, everyone who is new to the channel, welcome. And I haven't watched everyone's videos. I watched, um, I watched Jessica's and Tara's, but I didn't watch Miley's. I didn't watch the whole thing. I watched some of it. But I'm going to get to those. And um, I had a question for Tara Lynn. And, um, it was, do you always, have you always had EDS and that allergy to cold? Um, or did it develop? Uh, I don't have much experience with EDS or um, that kind of allergy. So I was wondering about that. And yeah, that's it pretty much. Um, for the, you know, videos. Um, I'm going to go now because I have to get going. But I will see you guys next week. And I hope everyone is doing well. Bye.